all YouTube fans here again and without a doubt now not do this one at a Patterson let's go into the remake of Rob Zombie's Halloween and the original classic by Tom Tappenders why not why not I've done it with the other ones so I'm thinking what the fuck because Halloween's on the way why not why not so without a doubt we start off with the original the classic as the same trailer Halloween you got a day opening with the pump tin, it comes to toss, it fires out, it's blows, you've got that beautiful theme tune. <laughs> Not gonna do the rest, but we all remember it. And then you got the day opening where you got their hand, it doesn't feel a lot, puts a mask on, see a woman naked, go get excited, you know what's gonna happen if you see an Halloween, she gets stabbed. Mask comes off and you find it's a kid. And that's what I love about it. It was sucking. It was sucking puppy back in 1978. And it's still sucking even today. But in the fucking remake, being Rob Zombies, you don't get that. you got a life story of Michael Mathers. He wasn't wanted, wasn't needed. you got him killing animals. The same usual shit. Always getting picked on. Same usual shit. The sister's a slut. And you got all the fucking back down story. What's needed? Dragged. What really pisses me off is. What pisses me off is you get the song. Love hurts. It's so annoying. My dick. It hurts. It's fucking annoying. It fucking drags so much. And I'm not doing the rest. Now I do know there's some lovers that like rubs on this work. And some people what like Rob Zombie's Halloween. But in all fairness, I'm not one of them. There's lovers out there, there's haters. If some people want to insult fucking the original, I'm going to insult Rob Zombie's. Why not? Rob Zombie did. He insulted John Tarpenter, saying, Why has he got a teen overalls on? Why is he wearing this mask? I'll be woke up in the morning and broke into the shop. Blah, 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 blah. Even insulted. Insulted one of the damn best actors who is sadly no longer with us. Sadly no longer with us. Right? As we all know, Dr. Humus, played by the late Tom Pessence. And it pisses me off. And that's another good performance, the original. The original, you've got Tom Pessence. Evil. Poor evil on earth. Right? I like Robin McDowell as an actor, don't get me wrong, I like him as an actor, I can name loads of films he's done, you know, Cotworth Owens, it, loads of good films he's done over the years, but in this, it's just, it's not the actor, it's not the actor, it's the way he's written, again, directed by Rob Zombie, Rob Zombie makes him, okay, he's trying to make his own version of Dr. Humus, but in all fair setting done, He's a fucking asshole. He's a dislikable fucking prick. A dislikable fucking prick. But in the original, I'm sorry, but he, the way he was disguised by Rob Zombie, right? The way he was disguised. I was going to dart him and move my leg. The way he was disguised. He was disguised as daydreaming. I don't find him daydreaming. I don't find that Dr. Humus by fucking damn good actor, I may add. John Bessence. I don't think he was J D. He deserved them lines in any of the Halloween films, whether it's the classic, whether it's the sequel, whether it's the fourth one, whether the fifth one was its own film, um, and the fifth one. If I don't love it, it does deliver a damn good performance in all of them. May rest. I love the lines in this: evil, poor evil. The eyes, the devil's eyes. I just love the lines. I love the way he delivers it. And what is he? Okay, it's not against Robin McDowell. I just said the films I like him in. Another attentive. The only thing when I've got attentive is he's dislikable. He's a prick. And speaking of pricks, you've got another damn good role from another well known actress. The original. The original. Jamie Lee Curtis. This was a film that launched her career. That is, she made shitty things and shitty mistakes. We all do as an actress. She appeared in Love Boat. What the fuck? But you know, one day after this, you did The Fog. She did, um, let me think of another one. I can't remember the name of it now. There's another good slasher film. Just got to think of the name of it. 
Um, it'll come to me. Let's do another one. One near after. Pom Night. That's it. Pom Night. So there's been about a lot of the films. I mean, this was a film with Edgar Kinnear. Now, what I like the Dolly Stolden. You know, since I like the Doom, Next Door, this Duddy and everything else. But the remake, dislikable. Annoying. Swears, insulting, insults a fan there. Now, I do know you get one dirty in it, who we all know is the little dirty now. There being four. And it's just not doing a bad job, but again, just diving as a slut. So on. Yes, the fires is a lot more traffic in the Wob Zombie one. I'll give it its due. I'll give it its due. But the fact that they made Michael Mathis is eight foot fucking die, masked, and even copies the music. People say, well, well it's going to be his own thing. Yeah, but the things he does, I'm sorry, but it's back down story. Not knowing everything, right? Not knowing everything is in my eyes. My fucking eyes is what makes a damn good horror. John Tarbidor was tougher at making them old school slasher films. And when you think about it, the slasher film, I mean, some of it was inspired by another film, that being Black Christmas. Never seen Black Christmas? You've missed a damn good film. And inspired films a couple of days later, like Friday the 13th, The Prowler, The Burning. But this goes on. The remake does do its own thing, and Rob Zombie maybe he's a musician, maybe he's done at doing rock videos. In my eyes, he's sort of stuck to doing that. He's sort of stuck to doing that. I'm sorry, none of them to die, but I've seen a thing on YouTube right about him and why he did this, and it just doesn't make sense because this is a man, this is a man who does not like remakes. Spies or something there, he goes and does this. I've already ranted, I don't need to rant again, just what's one of my old rants and what I think about Wub Zombies Halloween. <laughs> Bad language in it. There is so much effing and jeffing in this. Oh, it's had effects on my dog, that's some dickers letting rockets off. But at the end of the day, I swear, yeah, I had effing jeff in some of my videos, I do it for laughs and diggles. But the swearing in this is so unbelievable. It's so unbelievable. Original one didn't need it. Yes, it is not bloody like the remake. I'll give the remake this one. It's very bloody. There's a bit in it where a woman gets raped and so on. But the amount of... From the major original was, right? Do you need the blood? Do you need the door? You want to see blood and door and traffic fire and just what's... Just what's the fucking second Halloween. All about the dud one. And again, Rob Zombie did a second Halloween film. A fucking woman with a right arse, so to say more. I expect to see why fucking what's this. And it's played again by Wob Zombie's wife. You've got his wife in this, that's the mummy of Michael Mathers. Both the fucking brains out. This media is pull my fucking brains out. Wasn't needed. Too much back down story. Too much back down story. But the Patterson, the original will always be a tacit. If you like Rob Zombie's Halloween, that's fair enough. I don't. Until then, see you later. As I do some more of this stuff.